Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And today we are watching The Last Samurai. Now I am super pumped for this movie. I think this we is, both are. Yeah, we've heard so many good things from pretty much everyone around us. Everyone. My sister, my best mate, my father. They've just, we mentioned that, oh, this is not a list to react to. And instantly their reactions are, oh my God, you've got no idea. Oh, no. And then we've been told it's going to be very emotional. Yeah, I've just been told it's down my alleyway. <laughs> I personally love warrior movies. I live and breathe them. As they you are, can tell. <laughs> yeah, they are my favorite. That being said, a lot of people have laughed at me in over in our discords and fair enough because <laughs> for a guy that loves warrior movies, I feel like I've watched more no-name ones than some of the more iconic ones. Obviously, given our age, when this came out in 2003, I would have been six. Mm. So it's a movie that I've always known about and I've always heard. We've always heard. It's always just like floating around in conversation in any environment that we're in. Really. Yeah, I know my dad's watched it several times. I know it's been on the TV as I've been running yeah. around as a kid, but I've never actually sat down to watch it myself properly. So, Like, I personally don't even know what the story is about. I'm assuming the last time we're right. Yeah. Yeah. But. Because we've seen, um, I always thought this movie, we saw 47 Ronin. Yeah. And I always thought these movies, I don't know why at some point I blended the two and I was like, no, no, that's, that's with uh, County Reeves. That's separate. So this is, yeah, this is with Tom Cruise and I don't know how I missed the radar, but nonetheless, I'm just very keen to look at it. I love one of my favorite warrior movies is 300, hence mm -hmm. the name. You loved it as well. And it came out around this time period, maybe a few years after this one, but around a similar time period. So it was a bit of a golden year for your movies, it looks like. It was, wasn't it? I feel like we don't get that many at all, but that many good ones these days either. And this is actually the first solo movie we're doing on the channel. Yeah, usually we do like trilogies or whole like sets of movies. Yeah, so we wanted to explore a bit of both for sure. And we're finally, this is going to be one of the first individual movies. I'm really excited to get into it. I'm really excited to go on an emotional journey and it has been a while since I've watched a very warrior specific movie or series just based on the series and stuff that we're watching right now. Yeah, I feel like this one will be right down your alleyway. I I'm sure I'll love it. Like we'll see, especially what everyone's been saying. But I it's you guys will get to see Spartan in his element. If it lands. If it lands. If, if, it, it, lands. if it does what I'm hoping it'll do. I feel like it might. Yeah, we should. Tom Cruise is usually in decent production films, so should be good. Usually the, the themes and symbolisms and even the lines about honor and courage and stuff in these movies, they just always, they they hit for me. So I am looking forward and I'm excited to get into this one. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to watch ahead and get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie. All right, let's get into it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Winchester, America's leader in all forms of armament use. Here's our boy, Tommy. Captain, Nate, Aldrin. It looks like the guy from KFC. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, son, have you ever seen what this could do to a man? If he's demonstrating while drunk, I'm nervous, but... Daddy's six inches wide. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Say that I'm fired again. <laughs> it's quite a demonstration. KFC man, KFC man loves love it. it. My thanks on behalf of those who died in the name of better mechanical amusements and commercial opportunities. Yeah, okay. So he doesn't yeah. like the whole show of it all. I guess he's actually been to war and he's like, what's all this, this big yeah. fast? I have a good job for the both of us. God knows it looks like you're going to need one real soon. What kind of a job? The only job you're fit for, boy. Alrighty. Nathan Algren, I'd like you to meet Mr. Omura from Japan and his associate, whose name I've given up trying to pronounce. 
<laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's probably the awesome names of characters that we can never remember. Your performances for the Winchester Company bring you $25 a week. We will pay you $400 a month. Shit, that's a big difference. Captain Algren's study of the tribes was a crucial factor in our defeat of the Cheyenne. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, that is you. Just laughing at nothing. <laughs> well, I can't imagine it's my thing, but... And it's just so... <laughs> This man's hating his life, dude. <laughs> I feel you, Nathan. I feel ya. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. But keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. Oh, oh shit. Interesting. There's a lot of friction there. There's no honor in that, is there, my friend? What, killing you for free? There might be, depending on what he did. <laughs> I have been hired to help suppress the rebellion of yet another tribal leader. Apparently, this is the only job for which I am suited. He's really struggling with that, isn't he? He's having like this identity crisis, it seems. I think it's a lot to do with what he's done in the war in the past. I don't think he's the man that everyone's making him out to be. Yeah. I feel like no one ever is when you come back from war. And a lot of people just don't understand that. <laughs> Doesn't want to put it back on. Oh, yeah, it seems like he's aware of the horrors that were done. He's not looking at it as just a victory. Yeah. Uh, Captain Auburn, I presume? Oh, no my God. way! <laughs> Name Peter Pettigrew or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> For 2,000 years, no emperor was even seen by a commoner. You have to realize what an absolute treat this is, what an honor. It's all highly ritualized, of course. This man loves it, but Nathan's hating his life. The Emperor wishes to ask Captain Olguin if it is true they wear eagle feathers and paint their faces before going into battle and that they have no fear. Here we go. They are very brave. One of you his events. Thank you very much. It's an interesting interaction. Yeah. So you can tell, I don't actually know his name, but Tom Cruise, he has respect for the American Indians. He doesn't hate them like the other guy seems to. His name's Nathan. Step back. Step back. I'm turned. <laughs> it's so very prim and proper. You will stand up straight or I will personally shit kick every Far Eastern buttock that appeared before my eyes! <laughs> Oh, that ain't proper. proper. <laughs> Mr. KFC's lost it. Well, the general and Katsumoto fought together for the emperor. He fought with the samurai. So is he like an ex samurai? Or? He is samurai. Oh, shit. Oh, he is. And yet he joined these ranks? Yeah, which is weird, hey? I would think. Colonel Bagley, these people had nothing to do with the raids. Quietly now, boys. Yeah, right. So that colonel, he just enjoyed killing them versus doing it for an actual purpose. Yeah. Like all those innocent people. Oh, no oh. way. Oh my god. Ah, oh, sickening. Oh, now I know why he wants to kill him for free. That colonel is a snake. Oh my god, that's a little girl. Yeah, now I know why he's got PTSD. Aye. Right. Down the site. Now slowly. Oh. Well done. He's a good teacher. So they're obviously not used to using guns, probably saws. They're not ready. The rebels don't have a single rifle. They're savages with bows and arrows. Whose sole occupation for the last thousand years has been war. Batman's already pissing me off. I know, especially like finding out about the past and he's doing the same shit now. Tell this man 
If he does not shoot me, I will kill him. Oh, shit. He's trying to prove a point now. Oh, <laughs> shit, the accuracy. He's proving a point to these clowns. And he missed. Point proven. He didn't even flinch. Love it. Far out, man. Poor man's got a heart attack. They're not ready, bait. The regiment leaves at 6 a.m. He's a clown. What an idiot. Literally a clown. Like, is this guy serious? Prove the point to these. Oh, my God. Oh, out of respect. Oh, okay. I like that. And who's gonna lead these men? They're on offices, for Christ's sake. Let's move to the rear. We'll be there presently. Fix bayonet! This guy's just... I don't know. He... He's prepared to send them in and then just go hide on the, on the side, like... As long as if they've got rifles. Yeah, he's, he's on a list, that man. That colonel. Sergeant Gant, did you hear my order? I did indeed, sir. Good, then you will obey it. Now! No disrespect intended, sir, but shove it up your ass. <laughs> I like how you see, man. They <laughs> <laughs> just send it in. Oh my god, they just get. Oh my god. Well, he did warn him they were untrained. Oh my god. Oh yeah. my god. They brought guns to a sword fight and still lost. This is what happens when you don't listen to a professional. Oh! Oh, what the hell? He had a sword too. Wow, he's really holding his own, isn't he, Nathan? Damn, against Samurai, I gotta respect it. Dead. Not KFC, man. Wow. Well, he's he's gone. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. shit. He's completely surrounded, though. Look at him go, man. What a weapon. He's a beast. Oh my god, he's taking on all of them by himself. Oh, they respect it. They have to. They have to respect that. Because he fights with honor, I think, is what stands out. But he's fighting their way as well. Yeah. He sees something in him. And that's a tiger from his yeah. vision. Yeah. Fighting till his last breath. Oh, sh Holy shit. shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, come on, leave the guy alone now. He took his time waiting to see. <laughs> Killed himself? Oh my god. But he, he, he stabbed himself and then... It... That was the ritual, I don't know. Oh my god, and then they bow. Probably respect, because he betrayed them. But in the end, he didn't want to fight against them. I don't fully know. What is your name? <laughs> oh, that's sick, boy. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. He didn't flinch. That's respect. Oh my god.
Oh shit, man's built different. It's be interesting. It's like you already saw the goodness in the American Indians to a degree. And now he's gonna see another misunderstood people. Yeah. Get to I know them so. personally up and close. Is he having like a fit? I don't know. Sake is alcohol, so he wants a bit of uh, booze. <laughs> he is drunk, remember? Oh my god. <laughs> that would burn, would it not? Oh, well, even they're sort of like, what? Seeing the pain he's in, I suppose. Sake? Oh shit. So that boy cares for him for some reason as well. I think they both actually do, you know, but they see different ways to help him. Oh my god. Holy shit. And she knows he has to face his fear head on. Oh, so bad for him, man. I told you. I told you. Oh man. Shit. It's already making me tear up and I don't even know anything about it. And the music. Oh wow. That was a heavy hitting scene. Huh. Which is just the beginning. I know. Morning. They're gonna follow him. <laughs> Every step behind. It's interesting, they're letting him move relatively free. Wow, I mean. Yeah, but he's not in chains or bound yeah. to a room or whatever. Yeah. Wow, look at the discipline. Oh, that's the guy he killed. I think that's his son. Oh, is that his armor up there? Yeah. yeah I don't know why you don't talk. You're angry. You're angry because they make you wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. My name is Katsumoto. What is your name? Katsumoto, I like that name. He almost sounds like Uncle Ira a little. True. Who's the warrior in the red armor? My brother-in-law, Hirotaro. And the woman who cares for me? My sister, Hirotaro's wife. Holy shit. He killed her husband and she cares for him. Yeah, that's crazy. They're pretty decent for the young kids. Nicely done. Oh. Watch him get rocked by this kid. It's pretty good to be fair. Come in. Oh, tell me the older older guy's gonna school him now. Oh shit! Damn, one shotted. He'll always keep getting back up. That's the difference. He's gonna wanna learn. He's gonna wanna learn their ways, for sure. Ow! Wonder if these two will become friends at some point. I think they might. To mutual respect. You don't mind if I call you Bob, do you? Bob. Just giving him a name. <laughs> Bob once. God, he was ugly as a mule. You ladies man, Bob? Not with that name. I am surprised to learn that the word samurai means to serve. Oh, wow. And that Katsumoto believes his rebellion to be in the service of the emperor. Okay, interesting. To serve, I like that. 
He's like, I'm watching. Teach him our ways. He's gonna treat him a little bit <laughs> unfairly, but that's all right. To be expected. Too many mind. Too many mind. Hi. Mind the soul. Mind the people. What? Mind the enemy. Yeah, right. Oh, like he's thinking about too much. Interesting. I love that. Too many mind. Yeah, even the way they describe it. Oh, <laughs> such an American way to fight. And he's still like Taps him out. Taps him out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god, what the oh, hell? shit. When I get it, it's your husband, yeah. Wow. Even to admit to that is next level as well, though. People heard to go forgive my weakness. Like, I know. Their honor and discipline is next level. Their strength, weakness. I wouldn't be able to do that, I don't think. American men do. <laughs> so his Japanese guns has gotten a lot better. You can understand all that. Yeah, true. Is he going to apologize? That's what I'm waiting for. Come in the, the side. Come in the side for your husband. Hiro Taro. Oh, wow. Damn. That'd be nice to hear for her as well. Samurai to stay home, Kayo Togimasta. Anatamo. God damn, dude. What a brave woman. I know. The words that come out and then what she's actually feeling. It's making me tear up a bit. Dude, like... Where are these women at? <laughs> Brilliant. I accept your apology, dude. That's the that's next level. He's got him better. A lot better. Beheaded, gone. Okay, emptying his mind. No mind. Oh shit. Spinning around. Oh shit. Top knot nearly went flying. Oh, they drew. Holy shit. Even his surprise. <laughs> I love that. I love the cheeky one. <laughs> I like how he's even willing just to get on stage. Who the hell's this? We're just enjoying a nice moment here. I was just saying I like how their leader is, you know, involved in such a little thing, but what the hell's going on here? Yeah, I was about to say the same. You don't have to see leaders get that vulnerable and funny. Do you think this is an attempt to get Nathan back? Maybe. Oh my god. Oh shit. <clears throat> Is he gonna go out and fight? <gasps> Is that the kid? No. No way. No way that's the kid. What the hell is happening? Oh, dude. This what man can handle himself. What a bloody weapon. 
They kind of like ninja. Does he have his sword on him? Oh, oh shit. Look at her go. <laughs> Let's go. He like stopped in his tracks. Oh my god, what's the little kid doing? Oh, his father's sword. Oh, please no. no, please no, please no. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Brave kid. What the fuck? He was gonna kill a kid. What's wrong with these people? Oh, he fought as one of them. That's beautiful. He's got your back, my friend, and he's got yours too. <laughs> I mean, Nathan's holding his own, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that roar. What a G up. They are brilliant. That roar is next level. They fought like brothers. Yeah. Out of nowhere. I mean, it's the summer and they're all scared. <laughs> Did you hear that guy? It's like someone I like <laughs> Bad acting dude. Put some effort into it. You got this clown here. Compare him to these epic samurai. Not necessarily. Holy shit, man. They're that bloody... That's crazy. He needs a reminder. He really trusts him. Even to humbly say that, you know. He's the only genuine one. The other one's all trying to you know, corrupt in his ear. Yeah. Something for their benefit. Katsumoto's under arrest. Amura won't let him last the night. And with Katsumoto dead, we should have little trouble handling what's left of the rebellion. Oh my god. Just tell me one thing. What is it about your own people that you hate so much? You. Yeah, that's perfectly said. <laughs> no. What the hell? Why should he kill himself? Is it more honorable than them killing him? Is that the point of it? Come on, Nathan, let's go. Oh, and they said if he goes anywhere near him to kill him, remember? So these guys are samurai as well, I think, but or well, ex-samurai. No mind. For all that training to use. Oh, he he mouthed it. Oh, <laughs> brilliant! Epic. Didn't have a sword. Got someone else's. She sliced him open. Oh, I think his hand came off. Oh man, destroyed Ooh. them. Epic. Excellent. That two ha two sword. Yeah, it's like in the moment he wasn't thinking about it, but now he's reflecting. So he knew that he didn't down him. Right. Oh my god, that's how he knew he was there. That's, oh, that's epic. epic. Epic, epic. Oh. Oh shit, that went clean off. Oh. 
Just like some random white man, do you know who he is? <laughs> That's funny, Ash. President of the United States? Sorry. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> who would have thought I thought it would be a snake? I this know. Life. I decided to stay. See if I could convince you to escape. Yes. Oh, oh, I love that guy. Epic, <laughs> epic. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. It's me too. I love how they're all just there. This kid is a weapon. I'd be so scared to run across getting shot at. Oh, 100%. It was scary enough running across paintballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Was that the kid? No. Oh, my God. Like, the first time wasn't enough when we thought he was dead. Please save him, man. Where did he get shot? I don't think it's fatal. Come on, Bob. Good old Bob. Love the man. <laughs> oh, it's fatal. Oh, no, dude. No. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, that, su that sucks. Oh. <sighs> And he's still fighting. He's gonna go out with the warrior's death. <laughs> Cowards, man. There's no honor amongst these. Oh. And he's landed in such a nice spirit as well. That's ridiculous. Honestly, the dishonor, like, he came with a bow and arrow and swords, and you're just, like, shooting him down. There's, like, seven of you. <sighs> I still hear about her nephew. I reckon the kid's thinking, why are you... You protect them now. I mean, he's been nice to him so far. Oh. Damn, that hits different, man. I didn't expect that. Oh. He's lost one father, I just want to lose another. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Must be relieving for the kid to understand. I love how they come and get him as one of them now. I know. God damn, dude. This movie hits, huh? There was once a battle at a place called Thermopylae. 300 brave Greeks held off a Persian army. Oh, let's go! For two days, the Greeks made them pay so dearly, the Persian army lost all taste for battle. Oh, dude, the samurai's of Spartans confirmed. You believe a man can't change his destiny? Yeah. Anchor man does what he can until his destiny is revealed. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh 
God, dude. These are the lines I was talking about. Bloody beautiful. So it's not really about choosing it. Oh, does he get a root right before he goes to battle? One night only, one night only. <laughs> Honestly, we're both so far from the actual vibe of the movie right now. <laughs> Oh, damn, is that her bedroom? Oh, I had no. wondered. I had wondered before if that would amount to something. Tell me he's gonna wear it. Wow, dude. Oh my god. And she's gonna put it on him. Oh my god. Isn't that amazing? Their enemy became their greatest ally. It's a beautiful story. More than that. Family, you know? Yeah, I mean, it must be a bit weird. This man killed my husband. Like, you, you wouldn't know where your loyalties lie. But she still feels, you know. She does. She doesn't want him to leave either. She's probably scared to let him in, yeah. Then lose another person. Oh, oh dude, what a beast. He's wearing his brother-in-law's armor as well. Oh, finally. I mean, not finally. It's always been like yeah. that for a while, but... Uh, even more so, though. Yeah. You will need this. Is he giving him the new one? I think, that's what, I think it was propped for him. He's officially a samurai now. What does it say? I belong to the warrior in whom the old ways have joined the new. Oh, wow. I love it. Ah! Here oh, we dude. go. What have a feeling that I'm, this end is going to break me? Japan's equivalent of the Spartans. Like, I respect it. I would have them in my army. Oh, I love how he grows up with him. Good. Surprise? He probably thought he left. Captain Olga, we will show you no quarter. You ride against us, and you are the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. Oh, yeah. I'd love Finally. for it to kill him. I love that guy. He's a weapon. I'm nervous. Yeah, so am I. They had a plan, so they got to, i got to believe they got some plan. Yeah. You're just out of range? Yeah. And Nathan knows how all this stuff works. He knows, you know. Yeah. That's their advantage. Oh, no one flinched. Oh, no. They're raising it. Surely they knew that would happen. Oh, shit. Shit, already. All right, so they're lighting those on fire. I reckon they're trying to lure him in oh, while he's retreating. See, even the mighty samurai cannot stand up to the howitzers. Oh, mate, you're going to eat those words. You ready? Ready for these fools to be shown how it's done. The Spartan way. Wait for the volley. Are they coming from the sides or behind? Oh, 
unfortunately some have to die to bring them in. Oh, they're gonna flame behind them, I reckon, and trap them in. Oh, yeah. Class. Epic. Now it's close quarters. They're not trained for this, are they? Let it rain. Arrows will block out the sun. Like I said in 300. Oh shit, right in the forehead. What happened to the warriors at Palmopoli? Death is the last man. Oh, he loves that. It's a warrior's death. Holy shit, oh, look at that charm. They're following Liam Arthur's legacy. Love it. I never understood how you could just charge in there like that to your death. Duty and purpose, I suppose. Come on, Bob! Oh, that was Bob. Let's what go, I Bob! Oh my god, dude. Far out. Oh, Bob's such a legend, Bob. man. Yeah, like, he protected him like his own. Oh, oh, holy crap. I'm like emotional. I'm loving the action. Oh, man. Beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh, oh that went like through the shoulder. Oh, I think it's always like his neck. Oh, oh, I love it. Damn. Round after round after round. Oh, <laughs> that's him. Let's go. <laughs> I love that look. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this guy, dude. He's one of my favorites of all. Look at him go, man. Rolled off his horse straight into sword fight. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Yeah, the music's changing, I don't like it. I know. Everyone's just dying. Everyone that he knows and loves. Oh. Yeah, this is the reality of what's happening far out, man. No, what? He just wants oh, to keep fighting. Oh dude, my he's a freaking warrior, man. Just spits the blood out and keeps on going. He's a legend. It's not over. How are they going to win? Like, everyone's down. That was like all their men. I don't know. I don't feel like the point of them is to win. I think it's to sacrifice. Oh, it's about to rip me all over again, isn't it? Yeah, just get ready for it. Yeah, it's courage on another level. These cowards don't know a thing about it. He's still there. He's still oh my god, how? He accept his shame. See, he wants to break their spirit and he can't. I just can't stand to see them go down. There's a little part of me that's hoping something will happen, but... Then I know the reality. Oh, he's even coming out now. Oh. Holy shit, dude. It's insanity. It's really, it's really well choreographed. Fire! 
Oh, oh my god. It's a massacre. <gasps> Look at this beast, dude. Oh, oh, oh. He's a beast. I like, I'm, oh. He's one of the greatest. Do not. Come on, Nathan. Thank God. Finally. Thank God. Shit, I didn't think they'd make it that far. Oh my God, of course, of course. Oh no. They got it just in time. God damn. Oh my god, that went straight through him. Oh, this is hard to watch. That's disgusting. So unfair. I hate that guy. I hate him. And even then, they almost made it. Is he going to give him a sword to kill himself? Stop! The men said stop! Look at that snake, you guys keep firing the other one. You have your honor again. Let me die with mine. Oh man. Like their customs, you know what you were saying at the start. <laughs> oh and the tear in his eye, you see that? The Tia was full of them, just like mine. Cowards. But even they're moved by it, I think. They haven't seen a display so courageous as well. The blossoms. Wow. Oh, I see him again. Perfect. Perfect, he goes like a perfect death. Even Nathan's crying. No way. I don't think he's gonna kill himself. Oh. I think they're giving respect. Wow. Oh man. And that's why it's called the Last Samurai, literally. Never seen anything like it, hey. Yeah. But it sucked too, you'd be thinking now you guys want to bow. I know, a little too late. What's happening? Nathan? Yeah, it must be. Oh, the sword. Look at that snake. Get out of there. Let the real man walk through. He's always been intrigued by Nathan as well. No, you don't. Emperor, this man fought against you. Shut up. If you believe me to be your enemy, command me. And I will gladly take my life. That's Damn, a this time words. Words. He knows from that that's not his enemy. Tell me how he died. Oh, the story and a half. I will tell you how he lived. Oh, that's perfect. As for the American captain, no one knows what became of him. Some say 
he died of his wounds. Oh, wow. He would have gone back to the lady, I reckon. Is he the only one coming back? Yeah, wow. wouldn't that be tragic? How many fathers, brothers left? More than a freaking smile, you'd be running, give him a hug. Dude. Hello. That was a bloody beautiful movie. I know. So many great lines. Just, you know, you see Nathan from the start. He's obviously struggling with everything that he's going through, everything that he's, I guess, been forced to do in his line of duty. And he wasn't coping with it. And then to come out the other side, learn a new way of life. And, you know, it is a beautiful one at that. And they literally just... I don't know, they're just so peaceful and they helped him find a way to cope with the things that he's done, deal with that shame and, yeah. They helped each other, really. It was a beautiful story. I loved Nathan's journey. I loved the depiction of the samurai because yeah. often a lot of those races of people who live close to the earth are so misunderstood. They are yeah. said to be savage and yet, you know, in many ways, there's a lot more wisdom in the way they carry themselves. And I just love the depiction of honor and courage and sacrifice. I mean, the themes are fantastic. But forget forget the wisdom in the sense of savages. It's like, how are they savages? They use swords, close combat, you know, die by honor. Whereas I think what savage is that cannon fire, whatever it is, and they'll got 200 rounds per sec or whatever it was. I don't know, right? Yeah. But that was savage. That, that had like no no consequence for their actions in that sense. Like, they're just, like, reeling it through, like, you're not doing it by your own hand and all these men are just dying. I think that's savage. It's And it's funny how, like, the perspective of those who are actually being savage call, like you said, the people that are closer to their ancestors, their home, like, the, the way of life, and they call them savage. Yeah, I like the way it was written where it was almost as though it was Nathan's destiny where he failed to protect the American Indians, but he had lots of deep regret for what had happened and the way it had yeah. happened. And this was his opportunity to make things right, to change things on his terms, you his know? His destiny revealed itself. Yeah. And then I love how it was Katsumoto. I think so. I think that's how you say I'm, his name. I'm rough with the names, but Katsumoto has the, the vision of, the, of uh, Tiger, and everyone's heard around that tiger, but there's a purpose to it, you know, and, and that's what he saw when they were all surrounding him. And he and he trusted in that, trusted in his destiny. And it was uh just and then their interaction, the way they bonded, the way they you just see seeing the way they lived in a simpler time. I do have a massive soft spot and appreciation for yeah. a lot of warrior cultures with open uh, yeah, I, I think they're just very misunderstood by a lot of us who live in modern times. And when you really look at the deeper themes, the purpose you know, man's search for meaning and what humanity stood for and fought for. There's a lot of just noble causes. And yeah, it was, it's nice to see what we are capable of when we're really fighting for something just and, and, and like that, you know? And not only just, I think as a community, you know, like the westernized, I, I don't know the difference between all of them, but the people that weren't the summarized, the emperor, everyone that was fighting for the emperor, it was just, I don't know, like it was all individuals and they were numbers. That's what it felt like. And that's what it felt like when they were being commanded. Whereas, you know, Nathan's obviously been a part of those battles before and he has been a number, even though he has been, you know, a decent rank. Whereas when he came to the Sunrise, he became family. He became like, he wasn't a number anymore, you know. It was more than that. They... They all fought for each other. And they, they would all die for each other. They that's a big thing. Yeah. I mean, we saw that, I think it was Kashimoto's brother-in-law, the one with the helmet, the one that he kind Katsumoto, of... Katsumoto, is it? Katsumoto. I don't know. I we start with the name, but anyway, yeah. So but the one that, like, we love, the one that he was having conflict with, I mean... I mean, even Bob went in front of Nathan, you know? Like, everyone was protecting each other, and... I think that I think that's probably what intrigued Nathan in the first place, you know, when he was kind of looking around and everyone just kind of seemed to be unified. Yeah, well, very, very different. 
a much simpler people living closer to each other, more connected. And I, I think that the theme that's very prevalent in this movie are that they started, they opened the movie by saying it and it, it is about honor. And, mm. you know, the Japanese people, especially the samurai period, they're always known and regarded for their incredible discipline and resolve. And you see that in the way that they are prepared to die by their belief rather than live against it. Mm -hmm. And I love that, that sense of duty that hold the line that, you know, death before dishonor, like they yeah. will not sell out on themselves and their true beliefs no matter what. And I think there's yeah. so much strength in that. Well, you see, there's a stark difference between the army and then the samurai, you know, when the army was caught in the flames, they were retreating and things like that. Whereas, you know, the samurai could have just stayed there and, and, retreated at that point in time but they went full speed ahead they knew there was cannon fire they knew they were going to get like shot down but they still fought like you said for their beliefs and everything that they you know believe in so the emperor definitely annoys me a little bit i understand the the purpose and the sacrifice of the samurai and the role they had on the emperor and the future of japan but he she annoys me up sooner. yeah i'm like man now you speak like Oh, uh, he had the best sensei. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he has parents or anything. So he was obviously just didn't have much self-esteem or confidence. But that sacrifice moved him when he saw it helped him, I guess, wake up and see what the samurai stood for versus what the other guy stood mm -hmm. for. Just, you know, a lot of corruption and greed. And he finally stood up against it. And that's when he told him, you know, yeah. if you believe so firmly then in your cause, then I'll give your assets to the people. And all of a sudden you realize one was self-interest and one yeah. was to serve, you know, yeah. and, and the samurai to serve, that is just yeah. perfect. I mean, Nathan said, I'll happily die. You know, he echoed those words, which was so beautiful. And, and that probably moved him. If he's like this mm -hmm. man, who's not even one of us, doesn't yeah. know our culture, spent time with the samurai and this yeah. is how far he's come. It's a reminder. Then what are we doing? You yeah, know? It, that's right. Nathan is the reminder of what I guess Japan used to be and you know, that unity that they all had for one another. Whereas obviously, like you said, there's self-interest involved with, um, I don't remember his name, but that other guy. Snake. Snake. He's definitely made the snake snake list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just got to remember his name. <laughs> but that line intrigued me that the emperor said, um, what was it? You know, I'm only a god in their eyes if I follow what they say, essentially. And it's true, and that that's just fuels the self interest, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Like like you said, I guess that insecurity from him. That's why he couldn't speak up. And then that the power of the samurai literally made him voice his thoughts, voice what he was feeling. Finally, again, a bit too late. Yep. Music was beautiful. Really, music on point. Really enjoyed the musical choices. They just helped bring a lot of emotion out of the scenes. Yeah. Everything for a 2003 movie was pretty well done. Like, yeah. the choreography, it looked like it was done with all hundreds of actors and the battles were well done. And it was very, it was immersive, but I almost liked it. Even as a, as a very big fan of 300, I almost enjoyed the more grounded simplicity in the fight yeah. scenes. Yeah, it wasn't the CGI heavy and such. And I do still love that stuff as well. But I was able to just, I felt like I was more taken into this time period because of its simplicity, because of that realism. And, yeah. And it just suited the movie. Uh, they had some, like, amazing shots. Like, I'm a sucker for... The sunset with the yeah. shadows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was amazing. And even when they had that bluey, orange, like, purple sky, oh, that was great. And Nathan was just there. Oh, I love that. So they had a lot of beautiful scenery. Even when they were walking to the village um, and you had like the mountains in the background and stuff. That was quite beautiful. I really liked as a guy who's not the biggest on, you know, love stories. I, I like them, but it's not what I come to watch these for. Yeah. I really liked the way this was done because, you know, we made some stupid jokes during it and probably we were a bit out of touch as well with them. You know, we're born in this era too, unfortunately, but it wasn't just, he didn't just get into bed. He didn't sleep with yeah. her. No. It was really, he grew to be respected by the people. And in the end, when he went on a mission to potentially die, he was just a simple, a very brief kiss and she embraced him, but that was it, you know? And now he's come back and whatever happens later is fine. But yeah. it was very realistic, not forced and very representative of, of these people and their values. Because I couldn't see, you know, a woman with the values she has just 
right after her husband's died, just boom, oh, I fall in love with you. Let's sleep no, together. Like, no. It would have been out of place. So I'm glad they actually went with the pacing and, and, and the way they did it. I think it was beautiful as well. Someone that, you know, she was quite distant and it's a man that killed your husband, like the father of your kids. That is a lot to handle. And she said, forgive me for my weakness, but that is so much strength, honestly. And, and like you said, Nathan did come to respect their way of life. And I don't know, being her, it is hard to not fall in love with that. You know, like he, your, your children love him. And that moved yeah. me when the child was crying. They didn't want to lose him like that. That really And she me. said, she's like, because obviously Nathan misunderstood, like, he's got anger for me. It's like, no. Like, I didn't think that was true because he's been so close with him. Yeah. But he was scared of but losing him. the reply him. was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I fully expected Nathan to die in that final sacrifice. So did I. I expected, once I realized where it was heading, I really, and, the, you know, the mention of the Battle of Thermopylae with the Spartans and everything was hinting. I'm like, yeah, I think there's going to be a sacrifice. Because he said made sense. every last one of them died. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I thought he was going to die. I don't know how I feel that he didn't. It doesn't. I guess he got to carry on the legacy and teach them yeah. about the samurai people. So that's kind of cool. And his purpose as well, his destiny was to bring order to Japan in that sense with the emperor, you know, remind them of, of their home. And it's ironic that someone that wasn't Japanese did that, which I think is more powerful in the sense, you know, someone that you that he got taught your way of life and look how much has changed his life. It's like you you had it right the first time. Yeah, and it was at the samurai. It's what the samurai stood for. It wasn't so much about what race or whatever, but no, what they stood for, their teachings, their beliefs, their understandings. Yeah. You know that was powerful enough, and that obviously in the end moved the emperor. I thought it was. I thought it was really well written. Yeah. Wow. Honestly, such a great movie. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add this to my Blu-ray collection <laughs> for sure. It's too too symbolic not to. As much as everyone was was. Pretty epic. I had to love a uh, few. I don't know his name, but pretty much the the right hand man of the samurai, that captain, yeah. the, the one who was giving Nathan a hard time. Yeah, he was. He was just a boss. Like they, he was epic. from from his voice to his presence, like he really embodied what, what I think of when I think of a samurai and his presence. I swear he's in voice of Ronin. I got to check, but a great actor. I feel like he might be because he does look familiar. He might be in a lot of other big movies, but yeah, either way. But he, he was just he was brilliant. I mean, they were all were. So was Katsumura. So was all of them, but yeah. but he was just great. He's his his voice reminded me of some of their most epic uh, sub anime that I've watched. Like just that that voice, is like holy shit, man! You can't replicate that. The presence, the conviction in it all oh, was done it was done great. I think one of my favorite scenes, and probably I could be wrong, but the first scene that I potentially broke was with the nephew, the kid, the the leader's kid. I was saying nephew because oh, we right. saw him calling. I thought we hit up a few times before that. Potentially, potentially. When he's having uh, yeah, the nightmares and stuff as well. Yeah, true, true. We did. There we are did. a few. There were definitely several emotional moments throughout it. But that that moment hit for me because it's like a father saying goodbye to their son, and you know, selfishly, you'd want to take him with you. You'd want to stay with him, whatever it is, right? But they knew their duty. They knew. Uh, the faith that his father had in him to keep on fighting and he just went with his bow and arrow. Then he took out his swords and he just, oh, I don't know. That was a really moving scene. Yeah, it was. And the way he looked into his eyes in the end and just like take, took one last look at his yeah. son's face before having to leave him behind. Like that was beautiful. And then Nathan looking back at his sacrifice, you know, I think that was an important moment for Nathan as well. Yeah. And at the end with the, I think it was the cherry blossom tree. Yeah. As he died and he goes, perfect, you know, died a warrior's death with the cherry blossom. Like the symbolism, the way they tied yeah. that in over throughout the show, it was, yeah, again, just well written. Even with the tiger, like when you were explaining that before, like I was tearing up as you were explaining it because it's just so beautiful. That subtle symbolism throughout, like trickled throughout, I think what is what makes this movie so great. Honestly, watching this movie makes me want to replay the game Ghost of Tsushima. I yeah. Don't, I don't know. You, did you ever watch you play it? I watched bits and pieces a little of bit. it, yeah. If you guys have it, check that out. because that's a really, It's a really good game. It's very samurai heavy, great combat, beautiful story. And that's why I was a little bit more familiar with some of the samurai customs from that game, bringing it to this movie. Yeah, anyway, that's just what <laughs> came to mind. But I think not much else to say from us, guys. The, the movie was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. We hope you guys did too. We do plan on doing many more single movies over time and... As to what they'll look like, we'll just sort of 
decide as we go. Yeah. But we hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe for more movie reactions and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie the first time you'd watched it, if you can remember. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do want to watch the uncut version of this movie or get early access and uncut reactions to any of our other content, we'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on one of our next reactions. See you guys.